Hi everyone, start of another vlog. So anyways, I am on my way to my hairdresser because uh, my hair's getting too long. Like I cut my hair short and then I cut it even shorter and now that it's like growing out, I don't want it to get long again because I feel like I have had long hair for 10 years, even more. 15 years and I'm just so bored with it. I really want to do that graduated bob style again. Sort of very slightly angled, not like super angled, not like how it was popular in like early 2000, you know, the Victoria Beckham style. I don't know, I thought it looked really good and, I, and it's really convenient actually to still um, do different looks with it. You can curl it, you can straighten it, you can do waves, whatever. And you can also, which is really important to me, is I can just tie it back in a ponytail because when I do go work out, I don't want to have hair in my face. Afterwards, I was thinking of popping by H&M because I, I need some basics, like just like t-shirts and stuff. Because I have been wearing the same four or five t-shirts for like the last while. Um, I, don't go I don't go shopping very much, so I tend to wear the same clothes over and over, which is good. That's how I like it. I don't want to have a closet full of clothes that I don't wear. So I've really kind of uh, sorted out my closet and I've gotten rid of a lot of clothes that are just, that I just didn't wear. I got rid of so many bags of clothes that I gave to charity. I don't want to buy a ton, but like I've been wearing t-shirts a lot lately. I just love t-shirts, just plain cotton t-shirts. Also, I, you know how I did that video like I'm not wearing a bra anymore? So often with like white t-shirts, I just don't feel comfortable going out without a bra because you can kind of see through the white t-shirt. So if I do wear like a white top, I have to wear like a nude bra and I hate wearing a bra. So <laughs> wearing black means you don't have to wear a bra underneath because you can't see anything through it. And I just feel like I don't have a lot of black t-shirts. Like I think I have like two and I just wash and wear them all the time. So I tried to clean this ring. I bought this like gorgeous ring when I was in LA and it's silver, but I tried to polish it, but it turned like this weird color, but I didn't have the proper, like I didn't have a proper silver polish. So I wanna go to the pharmacy and get a proper um, silver polish. Okay, so I just got out of the hairdressers and I absolutely love my hair, oh my God. He cut so much off, it was, there was like a pound of hair on the floor. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like really sort of texturized, a little bit angled as you can see. Not too much, like I'm kind of holding my hair to the front, but oh my God, I love it so much. There's so much weight that has come up. Oh my gosh, I'm full of hair. So now I'm gonna quickly drive, I think to H&M and see if they have some like t-shirts and stuff. Oh my God, I love my hair. Let's see. I feel like it's just oh, looking so much better. Honestly, I feel like this hair makes me look a lot younger and more modern than the long hair. I mean, young hair is youthful in the way that a lot of young girls have long hair, but I feel like, honestly, shorter hair makes me look more fresh and more stylish, I think. But I feel like this makes me look a little bit more edgy, um, especially with the, like a leather jacket like I'm wearing now, so. I'm in a sports store because I'm gonna look at some outdoor equipment. Or like workout equipment because my pants, my running pants are on their last leg. I've worn them so much I fell down a couple times so there's like little holes in the on the knee where I fell and I feel like the holes are getting a bit bigger and I'm also kind of looking for a running jacket. I have like a really good one for winter that's like really warm but I feel like for spring it's a little bit too warm. I think I've mentioned this before, but for me, it's absolutely essential that the pants have a drawstring. And these ones do. These are by Nike, $89.90. This is almost on par with US dollars, so this is about $90 for a pair of fucking running pants. I don't like all these seams, though. I feel like the more seams, the more uncomfortable it gets. I just don't really feel like trying stuff on, but you can't return things here so easily. Oh my God, these are only $12.90. A fun color. This is good for summer. I love tops like this for summer because they're just super loose and airy. Just wear a sports bra underneath and then the air like goes through. You can see there's like it's kind of see-through. I wish we had like outlets and stuff here. Nike Shield. I'm sure this is really expensive. Let's see. Yeah, $130. That's so crazy. 
I don't even need a name brand. I could just go for a generic one. But I always feel like the Nike running stuff is just so well thought out. Maybe there's like breathability holes under the armpits. And yeah, there's more like breathing stuff here. This is really cool. I don't need brand name stuff, but it's just the brand name stuff is just better like design. So I always go into the um, men's section also on H&M because I feel like their t-shirts are just a lot better. I don't like these like super fitted tight t-shirts. Women's like, I don't know. I think I'm gonna try on these men because look at this beautiful color. They're so thin. The women's t-shirts are so thin. Look at this, like see-through. I went to H&M, I bought like five or six t-shirts, which is good because then I can get rid of some of my old ugly washed out ones. I bought some men's t-shirts. I like the men's t-shirts way more than the women's. And then I got two women's with that sort of boat cut, really nice. And then I also went grocery shopping because there's a little grocery store there. And what else I do? I went to the pharmacy, picked up a few things that I need. I got some silver polish, so I can't wait to see if I can polish my ring. I actually need to get home and do some work, obviously. <laughs> it's not just a day off. I need to a few emails that I need to write. I wanted to do it on Sunday, but then I was just like, oh my God, I need a day off. So I didn't do it on Sunday. Um, so I need to write back a few people for upcoming cool projects. Jesus lady, don't look in front of me, seriously. Um, so I need to go to the post office now. We had our birthday party and we got some really nice gifts from people. And so I wanna send the thank you cards off. We didn't open the gifts there. I just felt that was very like kid's birthday party, like open the gifts. So we just opened them later. And so it, I didn't really get to thank them for the gifts. So I thought I would just send thank you cards. These t-shirts, these are all from H&M. This I think was a men's shirt. This is just the regular fit. Yeah, this one's a v-neck and just plain black. Now these ones are a little bit different. These ones I sized up because these are their slim fit and somehow these fit more snugly, but they're also a little bit longer. So they don't quite cover the bum on me, but they just fit a little bit lower down. So I got another one in black and I got um, those both in v-neck. And then I got this t-shirt. Now these are really nice. They have that boat cut, or I think it's called a boat cut. Um, like this is kind of an off the shoulder cut. So if you wear a bra, you probably have to wear a strapless bra with that unless you want, unless you don't care if your straps show, but I don't wear a bra, so perfect for me. And these are a little bit, these are quite snug. Like these shirts, I bought them because they are very loose fitting, just very roomy. And these ones are more like, these are women's shirts, so they uh, hug your figure. So I got those in two colors. I got that in this sort of gray, and then I got it in a black, but it's the exact same t-shirt. And then I got two more men's shirts. These are again, the slim fit ones. I love this color. Why don't women's shirts have these beautiful colors? It's like a grayed out lavender. Always check the men's sections. They have really nice stuff. And then I got this t-shirt, which I also love. Really fine lines, like really fine grained lines. Okay, so I got this uh, cleaning product, the silver multi-metal foam because I wanna clean, whoops, I wanna clean this ring. So here is the before. Let's see how this looks after. Okay, so here's the ring after. It does look a lot cleaner. And I also cleaned some of my other silver rings that I don't really wear anymore. I don't wear my wedding band anymore because I have gotten, I think it's like a little bit too tight on me at the moment because I gained a little bit of weight. And because of my urticaria, something, as soon as something is like just a tiny little bit too tight, I, I started my finger started swelling up with the urticaria just because the ring was a bit too tight. This one, this one is supposed to fit like that, like kind of on the top. I really like that. This one I used to wear on this thumb and I can get it on, but it's quite tight. So I'm kind of worried that if I put it on that it's going to cause the urticaria again. It's kind of a shame because I actually really like this. It's so simple. This one is a spinner ring. So the middle part here, it moves. So it's kind of like when you're in thought, you can spin this. And then this is a Labradorite stone. I used to wear this all the time, although I used to wear it here where I should now be wearing my wedding band. But like I said, my wedding band is a little bit too tight for me and it was causing reactions. Not for the metal, but I was just getting urticaria breakout because it was just like a teensy little bit too tight. But I like this, this combo. I like this thing. I, I bought this one in Italy a while back. And then this one, I think, I don't know where I bought that. One of the brands whose PR list I'm on, uh, they emailed me and said, oh, um, we watched your last unboxing video and we were surprised to see that our collection was not in the unboxing. 
So I said, well, that's weird because I didn't, I don't think I received it. They actually, some brands actually do watch my videos. A lot of them actually don't. They'll just send it and then they just don't care. Um, but some brands really do watch, but I have to see if maybe I missed that box somewhere. There's something here by Yves Rocher. So it's not this. Okay, I think I have to tell them that the box didn't arrive because this has the brand here on the front. Okay, so this isn't it either. So I have to now email the brand and let them know the box didn't arrive because they said that they would want to resend it because they absolutely want you to try it. You know, it's a symbiotic relationship. We get free stuff and we can show you always new products and um, you know, we can do makeup tutorials, new stuff, but it's important for them too. We're giving them something too, guys. It's not just, um, it's not just them who's giving us stuff. We're giving them free press and you know if, we, if I use a product and tutorial that's free advertising like sometimes some PR company will send me something and um, then I will love it and I'll mention it in a favorite or something because I really do love it and then they basically got a free ad Ooh, it's really cute invitation look at this really cute there's like the sticker on the front okay so they're inviting me to the pop art beauty okay yeah so i can see because i don't know if you like if you go really close up this is like pop art with that little point point things and it's very like pop art kind of thing and the colors are like bright pop art so it's an invitation to a beauty event with Yelmoli. So Yelmoli is a very upscale department store in Zurich because Yelmoli is actually something that interests me. They have a lot of really good brands, like really good brands, like exclusive, expensive brands. Hmm. Maybe I'll see a friend of mine who wants to go. Maybe she will want to come with me. We'll see. Maybe I'll go to this. So anyway, I have to get behind the computer now. I have to write a bunch of emails and do admin work. And I have to also email my accountant about some stuff so it is seven and i uploaded my anti-haul video you guys really love the anti-haul videos i don't know making something to eat and i make myself a big salad because i haven't really eaten too healthy today okay so i've got a nice spinach salad here um i have some sliced up grapefruit half of a buffalo mozzarella cheese tomatoes and then the dressing is just olive oil and balsamic uh the grapefruit i just kind of like squeeze it out and then i put salt and pepper and i'm just reading through all the amazing comments that my viewers have left on my anti-haul video this video gets like so many comments every single time and i always read all of like i read all my comments but um like, I just think there's some really, really good comments in this. I feel like people are just so fed up with the bullshit on YouTube. So anyhow, I'm gonna now import the vlog footage and I'm gonna get started with editing. Also make sure to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell because that way you'll be notified uh, by email when I upload a new video. Otherwise, sometimes you might miss them because they don't notify for every video. So it's very annoying. So please hit the bell. Thanks for watching guys. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.